Welcome back, folks, for more. Let's play Ender Killing Moon. However many of you are still left after I spent a half video trying to arrange this note. You'll be happy to know that doesn't happen again for a while. But, you see, we have pretty much done everything we can in here. There's, I mean, we can look at this. Searching through that fireplace could be a real pain in the ash. You get a bad pun. But there's not le much left to do. It got cleaned out, and for some reason they left a spy watch behind in that note. So let's go visit the colonel's office. When I get to the colonel's office, the police are just leaving. They tell me they've combed the place and come up empty. I'm not surprised. As I step inside, I try to remember what the colonel told me. Something about a winter chip and an emergency disc hidden somewhere in the display case. Maybe the info on the disc will tell me something about this chameleon. Maybe. Let's take a look. Colonel always did have the nicest desk in the business. Chairs are a little too nice for my taste. Small table's a perfect resting place for a glass of scotch. Too bad the Colonel got rid of his liquor cabinet. Colonel always did have the nicest... You can also look at the lamp. But it's Colonel's not got good reason. taste in lamps. We were about to learn that the Colonel was kind of a babe hound. But let's do what we need to do here. Hmm. Nice rice steamer, a barometer, a few books. Nothing interesting. A few cheap vases, some paperbacks, a couple of ornaments. Can't believe the Colonel actually collects this worthless junk. Oh, not there. Hmm. Nice right. Few cheap vases. Yeah. Hmm. So the entire cheap top vases, half some are useless there. Oh, a nice brown pot. Looks like a munchie bowl. This must be a ceramic yam. Hmm. Useless. My ex-wife would probably correct me, but I'd say this pot is pink. Well, I would too. I'll back you up on that. This next. spittoon is the only reminder of the days when the colonel used to keep a pin between his cheek and gum. Let's not examine that one too closely, shall we? I wonder if this is a Grecian urn. Don't know. But... Well, it looks like the chameleon didn't have time to smash all the vases. This must be the disc the colonel mentioned. Maybe I can run it on his computer. Maybe. It's just a disc. Citizen Kane, this game is not. A deluxe hydro dispenser. And I thought my water cooler was nice. Let's hope that... Ugh. That picture frame's lying face down. Oh, nice looking dame. This must be the Colonel Squeeze. If I could track her down, maybe she could give me some more information. Maybe. The view outside these windows is breathtaking. Colonel certainly does like his calendar. Spicy. Yeah, I'm not gonna get too close on that calendar. You can see it just fine from here. Nice computer. Looks like it's all hooked up. I should turn on the computer first. Oh, picky. My DOS version 99.999, copyright, yeah, DOS lives in this day and age. A perfect word document. Tex, in case anything happens to me, I've made up this disc to give you enough information to carry on in my place. Despite our past problems, I don't know anyone else who could replace me. Since you're reading this, I suppose something has gone wrong, so now it's all up to you. First of all, you've probably never heard of Capricorn. All you need to know is that it's a secret organization that infiltrates groups which pose a threat to society, then unravels them from the inside out. Dozens of cults, terrorist groups, and political cabals have been broken up before the public ever knew there was a threat. How I came, in be how I came to be involved with Capricorn is unimportant. Suffice it to say that we've done each other some favors. I've been helping them infiltrate a corporation called Genetic Research Systems, GRS. 
I won't waste time on details, but I was hired by someone to investigate a disappearance, and the investigation led me to GRS. I learned there were secret experiments being done there, and that the top people were members of the cult. I relayed this information to Capricorn and learned that one of their agents was already there undercover. You know about the crusade for genetic purity, and maybe about the religious retreat, the Moonchild. To all appearances, it's a gigantic orbiting biosphere, capable of holding hundreds of thousands of occupants. If, however, the Moonchild is armed with nuclear weapons, it could literally hold the world hostage from its vantage point. Capricorn wants the Moonchild destroyed. The cult of GRS is linked to the Crusade. The undercover agent w learned that she would be going to the Moonchild, so Capricorn devised a computer virus and encoded it on what's known as a winter chip. I made the delivery of the winter chip from Capricorn to the agent at GRS less than three days... <clears throat> oh, that's a period. To the agent at GRS. Less than three days after I delivered the chip, Two dozen of an undercover Capricorn agents had been discovered and murdered, and Capricorn headquarters had been destroyed. Undoubtedly, the faceless forces behind the crusade for genetic purity are responsible for effectively ending Capricorn's existence. GRS is no longer in operation, and the undercover agent, Eva Sanshi, Sanshi has disappeared. What I was doing, and what you must now do, is find out what happened to Eva and help her complete her mission. If she has been discovered, you must find the winter chip and somehow get it into the moon child's computer system. If there is additional information in my safe, or if there is additional information in my safe, which may put you on their trail. So, we learned that there's actually quite a bit of respect from... Oh my god, that picture. I forgot about it. Oh, nice bow. Yeah, we're sure that's what you notice. There, that's better. We're sure that's what you're noticing about the the uh, picture there, Tex. The bow. Standard office supply stack. Unless you're somehow using bow to represent something else. Uh, the colonel's file cabinet. There must be some info in here. Yeah, let's see. Mm -hmm. Locked. Ah, uh, darn it, locked. Sailing is one of the Colonel's two obsessions. The other one can't be mentioned in polite society. No, it can't. Oh. The Colonel keeps this picture hung up so people will assume that he was in the Air Force. Actually, he was in the Coast Guard's elite volleyball unit. <laughs> but what's this? A safe. This must be the safe the Colonel referred to on the emergency disc. This is a top-of-the-line security safe, and I'll need a combination to open this. Now, we do not have a way to open this. We don't know what his... Don't know what this is yet. Or the combination is yet. So let's keep poking around. He has some drawers in his desk. Look down. Start opening some. Need to look up a little bit more so I can see that last drawer. These desk drawers were probably searched by the chameleon. Nope. Looks like these drawers have been picked clean. My PI instincts and keen sense of smell tell me that this envelope was sent by a woman of some kind. Yeah, sent by a woman, huh? Let's take a look. Melon Toad. 6935 South Circle, San Francisco, California. 904-9409-110. So we have an address of the probable uh, girlfriend. These desk drawers were probably... Yeah. Uh, some sort of greeting card. Because I'm nosy. I couldn't see the beginning of that. I can't read that. Sorry I haven't come by lately. Work has been hell, trying to wrap things up before we head out to the tropics. I'll make it up to you when we get there. Spanks and kisses, the colonel. So he was sending that to his girlfriend. I hope. There's nothing else in here. However, we do have... 
we've done just about all we can in here for now, so let's go talk to Melon Toad. You can tell that this is going to be a rather interesting conversation. Who are you? What do you want? For sure. Oh, Lord. I actually... Ugh. Okay. I'm a friend Let's of get a this friend. Over with. Look, if you're looking for a date, I don't do that anymore. I have a boyfriend, and I'm expecting him any minute. Could you close your robe, lady? Come on. Listen, I hate to be the one to tell you, but I have some bad news for you. Someone tried to murder the colonel. I don't know if he's going to make it. He may be dead now, for all I know. The colonel? Dead? I can't believe it! I guess we won't be going to Bermuda next week. Seriously, close the robe, woman. Yeesh. And show... Well, we're learning what type of person the colonel dates here. I know this must be quite a shock, but I'm trying to find out who wanted him dead, and I could really use your help. Hold on a second. How do I know that you didn't, like, kill the colonel? Well, he's not dead yet. And besides, if I were here to kill you, I'd have done it already. Okay, fine. Then why don't you just, like, leave me alone? I'm very upset. I have something for you from the colonel. Okay, let's see it. There wasn't any money in it? <laughs> okay, I guess I can answer a few questions. Yeah, I really like this woman. No, I don't. That's a lie. Well, I'm just a lonely girl looking for a new friend to play with. <laughs> you might be fun, but you don't look like you have very much money. Let's not go there. Chameleon? Oh, I feel so stupid. The colonel mentioned that name a couple of times, but I thought he was saying he was getting close to getting his hands on, like, a million. Nice. I'd like to help you, but I can't. Are you- Believe me, I don't have to work hard for you, lady. Jeez. Gold digging. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'd like to help- Are you- I mean, I could be more sympathetic towards her, but... No. I don't know about that. There's no reason to be. I'd like to help. Are you... T I don't know about that. The colonel talked about that, but I never really paid any attention. Of course not. Well, he was nice to me, so I was nice to him. I mean, it was fun. I feel kind of bad now, though, because um, he gave me this package that I wasn't supposed to open unless something happened to him, but I opened it anyway. And I was so disappointed because there was nothing in it except for this stupid key. No money, no jewels, no nothing. Hmm, a key, huh? Can we have it? Sure, I guess you can take it. I, I don't even know where I'd use it. Good. That's what we needed from you. Unfortunately... We have to return to talk to her again. Almost out of time. Yeah, I, I don't like her much. Pretty only gets you so far. Uh, the current. Now, let's see. This manila folder. Okay, and we got a manila folder. These documents are all in code. Hopefully the colonel's got some sort of decoding manual around here. That'd be nice. But for now, I must end the video, because I am almost out of time. When we come back, we'll locate that decoding manual. So until then, take care everyone. See you next time.